What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's Paul, and this high school swim meet's brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. They've been doing it for over 30 years. As Wilson celebrated a historic 45th straight Moore League title at the Boys' Championships, the swim program lost one of their own. Assistant coach Latham Bell passed away after being involved in a tragic car accident as he head to the boys' meet. Underneath the Wilson tents during the girls' meet, the Bruins mourned the loss by putting Bell's initials on the chair where he would have sat. Banners were put up in his memory to remind the Bruins who they were competing for. And Wilson head coach Maggie Twynham led a moment of silence, which showed how much Bell meant not only to the Long Beach community, but to the Long Beach aquatics community, community in general. The Wilson girls' team showed their support by wearing the initials LB on their arms, not signifying Long Beach, but Latham Bell. And when they did their famous pre-race chant, Wilson on a warpath, they instead said, LB on a warpath. Coming into the swim finals, we knew this was going to be a tight race. Projections had Pauly and Wilson completely even, and both squads delivered. Pauly got off to a hot start as expected in the 200 medley relay. They set the melee, relay meet record which broke their meet record from last year. The team of Fionn Quach, Anya Oka, Isabella Magalong, and freshman Josie Liebze crushed the field with a 149.09. Lakewood sophomore Maylin Lawrence had another impressive Moral League meet with wins in both the 200 and 500 freestyles. I mean, she's really had a hold on both events. She finished the 200 in 154.96, four seconds better than her prelim time. Liebze finished in second for Pauly to pick up points for the Jackrabbits. Isabella Magalong of Pauly had herself a year, and she's not done yet. She won both the 200 in individual medley and the 100 breaststroke with auto-qualifying CIF times for both. She hasn't lost this year in either of the individual events. 209-14 for the IM, 105-34 for the breast. Isabella McLean Cariello finished in second in the IM for Milliken, quashed the defending World League champ in the IM, finished in third. When Wilson's Mia Tedesco jumps in the water for the 50 free, it is must watch. Defending Dream Team Swimmer of the Year, she flies, won both the 50 and the 100 frees. 23-37 in the 50 broke her own meet record and set a new league record. The Hawaii signee qualified for CIF, obviously. She's one of the favorites to compete for a CIF title in the event, and she let everyone know this one was for LB. Well, we're doing this for for Latham Bell. Like he, he would have wanted us to win for just for the sake of not him necessarily, but just just to try hard and like to give it our all. And we did it for him because he deserves it. And he's just like he's such an influential part of this of this whole aquatics family. And we all really felt it. That was the most thrilling race of my entire life. Probably it was. That's my favorite event. And to happened to just come out on top on that was magical and I did it like we all had a drive today and so I did it for him. Anya Oka another piece to Pauly's big four she had a big meet as well almost automatic in the butterfly and the backstroke she won both events 57 44 in the fly 58 93 in the back the junior will be at CIF prelims Wilson's Andy Freeman finished second in the fly to steal points for the Bruins Wilson thrives with its freestyle swimmers Led the meet after the 200 freestyle relay because of its depth. Sophomore Ruby Prosser, freshman Lily Simmons, senior Paige Gurich, and Mia Tedesco, obviously. They blazed through the pool to a 140-97. The Bruins led by 11 points heading into the event, led by 12 after impressive swims in both the back and the breaststroke. They led by six heading into the winner-take-all 400 freestyle relay. I mean, the plan for Wilson, just get it to Tedesco. I mean, she's going to do the rest for you. And then she'll dab on you. For the Jackrabbits, Coach Kalani Caldwell said the goal was to, you know, build a big enough lead for Isabella Magalong so that she can hold off Tedesco in that anchor leg. Pre-race, the pool was absolutely silent, waiting in anticipation, but the place was vibrating from all the cheers during the race. Quach, Oka, and the freshman Liebze did what Caldwell said. I mean, they built that early lead. They had some ridiculous splits, though. I mean, Magalong didn't really need that early lead, though. Tedesco came running after her. She, she was chasing after her. But Magalong swam the leg of her life. Pauly set a new meet record, 337-36, beating its own record from last season. Magalong and the Jackrabbits knew they had sealed the deal. 
the Pauly family was going wild. Caldwell, obviously, already had crunched the numbers. She knew they'd done it. The Jackrabbits outlasted the Bruins by one point. One point, the closest race in more league history. Back-to-back -back league championships for Pauly. It was a cold night, man, but nothing warms you up quite like a more league title. Just ask Caldwell as she hops in to celebrate with her girls. Back-to-back -back champs for the Jackrabbits. Thanks to all of our sponsors, including Papa Lucci's, a great place to eat on 2nd Street. We're gonna have your CIF Southern Section swim coverage right here, gazettesports.com and the Press-Telegram.